Hello everyone, I'm Harry. Today I will tell you about a movie. In the future world, earth resources are severely scarce. All the poor cram in the city. They have to line up to get drinking water. Soylent green. In the beginning, due to overpopulation and severe air pollution, people can't live in the countryside anymore. Everyone cram in the big and messy city. There is no supply of vegetables, fruits and meat in the city. These are premium ingredients that only the rich can enjoy. Ordinary people can only buy green wafers produced by a food company at low prices every Tuesday. The company has always promoted that green wafers are high-protein products made with seawater and soybeans. This is the only thing the poor can afford. The male lead, Frank Thorne, and Solroth are both policemen. It's pretty good to have a small house. They eat wafers every day. The power of the lighting depends on pedaling the bicycle. Every time he goes out, he has to pass through the poor sleeping in the doorway. This is a suffocating future world. The director of the green food company is a wealthy man living in a villa in the city, accompanied by a private bodyguard and beautiful Sherl. Today the bodyguard and Sherl go to the underground supermarket to buy vegetables and fruits. Sherl asks the shopkeeper, did you prepare the precious thing that I requested? He takes her to the front of the refrigerator. The juicy piece of beef is there. This is the precious thing that only the rich can get. The poor have not seen it all their life, let alone eaten it. At night, a gangster climbs over the fence, sneaks into the director's villa, evades the security, and comes to the director's room. He will kill the director tonight. The director is not surprised at the arrival of the gangster. He doesn't resist at all, as if he doesn't want to live anymore. The gangster beats him to death with an iron stick. Policeman Thorne comes to investigate the case, asking Sherl and the bodyguard many questions. Thorne has not used tap water for decades. There is such a big piece of soap. He has never used this thing before. Taking advantage of the investigation, he washes his face comfortably in the director's villa. He packs all the things he can take away from the villa in pillowcases and takes them away. Through Sherl, Thorne figures out that the director of the green food company is a good man. He has never hurt her and has no enemies. There is no financial loss in the villa. So who wants to kill him? This is a mystery. Thorne brings confiscated things and takes a ride to the home. The hallway is full of the poor sleeping again. Thorne brings back two investigation reports from the villa. A bottle of wine that he hasn't drunk in decades, fresh apples, celery, and precious beef. Roth can't help crying after seeing all these things. He only saw these things when he was young. Since serious environmental pollution, these things have become more precious than gold. Thorne goes to the police station to report to the chief. He suspects that the director of the food company was assassinated. Why did the bodyguard go out to buy goods when the case happened? But the chief is a bit indifferent to this case. Later, Thorne finds out that the bodyguard is secretly spying on him. There must be a conspiracy. He decides to strikes first and investigates the bodyguard's wife. After hearing the knock on the door, the graceful black girl hurriedly hides the strawberry jam. Thorne enters the room and rummages around for a while. The black girl is worried that the police will find out about her eating strawberry jam. This is the top ingredient that only the rich can enjoy. Thorne searches around and finds no doubts. But the black girl's jam spoon was taken by him. High-end ingredients often only need the most simple cooking methods. After a busy day, Thorne and Roth can finally sit down and enjoy dinner with this rare vegetable and this pot of beef. The more precious the delicacy is, the more plain the appearance looks. Not bad, it tastes very good. Two delicious apples are the best in the world. Thorne has nothing left to eat, he even swallows the seeds. He lets Roth taste the spoon he stole. It still smells of strawberry jam. How can an ordinary family afford such expensive things? Thorne immediately calls the chief to report the situation. He suspects that the bodyguard is related to the director's death. But the chief still seems to ignore it. The chief's boss sends someone to tell him to stop interfering in this case. Thorne starts dating Sherl. Their relationship quickly blossoms. They inherently want to live together immediately. Sherl asks him to stay for a hot bath. This is also the VIP treatment he has never enjoyed. He stays and spends the night with Sherl, and learns from her that the director often went to the priest to confess. Thorne immediately goes to the church to investigate. A woman is lying on the ground at the door, having stopped breathing. But her eyes are still on the child, her child is tied to her hand. Thorne holds the child and gives him to the nun. He finds the priest to ask him about the content of the director's confession. But the priest tells him that once he says the content of the confession, he can't even save his life. Thorne doesn't ask any more. After he returns to the police station, the chief asks him to close the case instantly. There are thousands of cases where the truth cannot be found every year. Why we have to struggle with this case? But Thorne is determined to find the truth. At the same time, in City Botanic Garden, the governor plans to kill all those related to the director. The first person involved is the priest. The director told him the secret of the green food company before his death. The bodyguard comes to the prayer room and shoots him. The place where green wafers are sold is full of people. Thorne is sent there to take charge of security. With so many people, the rebellion could happen at any time. There is an assassin staring at Thorne. The poor protest against the shortage of green wafers today. 
The hungry poor clash with the police to snatch wafers. After a while, the forklifts are driven over to shovel the poor into the truck. The assassin shoots at Thorn in the chaos but hits an innocent person. Thorn is not a vegetarian, he throws the killer out. The assassin is crushed by a forklift. Thorn realizes that all of this must be related to the bodyguard. He hides behind the door, pins the bodyguard who has just come home against the wall and gives him some punches. The bodyguard's wife comes to help, but he pushes her out. Thorn asks the bodyguard, how much did the green food company pay you to spy on and assassinate me? Meanwhile, Roth and some elderly people finally find out the truth about the food company. It turns out that the director couldn't stand the condemnation of morality and conscience. The company felt that he was unreliable, finding someone to assassinate him. Roth is disgusted with his life, he comes to the dead center and drinks the venom. He wants to admire the beauty of the earth before he dies. Mountains, rivers, birds, and flowers. Such beautiful scenes no longer exist. It's a wonderful thing to die in such a beautiful dream. Thorn also rushes here. He respects Roth's choice. Knowing the truth, Roth doesn't want to live in this world anymore, it's terrible. After Roth died, he is pushed away by the staff. Thorn secretly follows all the way and sees that the dead are sent to the garbage truck. He quietly jumps into the truck and hides inside to go to the food factory. He finally sees a terrible truth. It turns out that the bodies were sent to this factory and sent to a big tank. Through several processing lines, they are made into green wafers for the poor. The workers find his trail. Fortunately, he hides in the truck and escapes with his excellent skills. Thorn calls the chief for help. At this time, he has been already surrounded. In a very realistic shootout, he brings down several enemies. But after all, he doesn't have cheating skills, so he is shot in the leg. The bodyguard chases him to the church. An innocent civilian takes a bullet for Thorn. Thorn gets up and knocks down the bodyguard. Because of his injuries, his combat stats plummet. He gets punched by the bodyguard. Fortunately, he picks up a weapon and gives the bodyguard a fatal blow. The bodyguard fires a few shots and eventually falls down. The chief brings people here, Thorn tells him all the truth. The green wafers everyone has eaten are made out of humans. If you don't tell everyone the truth soon, they will be eaten. The chief has been bribed by the governor. How can he listen to Thorn? Thorn raises his arms and shouts, telling the poor around him all the truth. But what is this for? They will starve to death if they don't eat green wafers. This science fiction movie is called Soylent Green. Everyone is responsible for caring for the environment. If the future is really like this, it will be a nightmare. If you like Harry, follow Harry. See you next time.